I started speaking about the sexual violence and conflict zones of Pakistan. And that's when the authorities doubled down on their persecution of me. I was repeatedly arrested on false charges. My name was placed on a state kill list. Our home was raided again and again and again. I knew I had to leave the country to save my life. But then I was on exit control list. My passport was taken. They put my, the pictures of my face at every border crossing. I went into hiding, got rid of my cell phone, and moved to a different house every few nights to be safe for months. Meanwhile, my family and friends were arrested, detained, electrocuted, and tortured just for information about me. This is when I realized how few support systems exist for human rights defenders. There was nowhere in my country that I could go to be safe. A few international organizations offered me some money, but what I actually needed was protection, security, and a safe way out. The only reason I survived this long and the only reason I can continue doing this work is because of my family and friends. When I was in hiding, my sister fought for my life until I made it safely to the US after four months of hiding. When my father was in prison, I fought for his life. My family has never once made me feel bad about this work, even though it has put them in jeopardy again and again. We are in this together as a family, and that's the reason I will never quit. But not everyone is so lucky as I. As an international community, we must protect human rights defenders from their own governments. We must become the family they need so that they can do the work to keep their people safe. Thank you.